Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. Today I am going to do a mermaid themed Manny based off of an inspiration video from Miss Joe's Nail Co. on YouTube. She's so amazing. I love her designs. I believe she did this mermaid nail set a year ago. I'm going to loosely interpret it. Um, I bought some gel polish collections a long time ago by Savalin and these are the colors. They're mostly jellies and very transparent. Um, the way I did it on these natural colored sticks is one coat, two coats, three coats. So you can kind of see how you layer them. I just bought this set and it was like a box of 30 in these tiny little bottles uh, for a okay price, I guess. I don't know, but these are just to practice with. I'm going to be using the liquids that came with it. These are, I've never seen this before, but they say castor oil, foundation gel, and top gel. There's also a matte top as well. And then I have some no name brand chrome style powder. For the purposes of using this brand in this video, I figured I would use all of the products that came in the bundle. And I'll link below. I got it on Amazon and it's been a while since I bought it. I know it's probably still there, but I don't know what the price is. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the lamp and cure them. So they do provide the ingredients. They do say 100% vegan, cruelty-free, and non-toxicity. Um, I can't read the ingredients because I can't see, but There you go. It smells very strong. Like I don't think I have any other gel polish or base that smells so strong. The top gel doesn't smell as bad. There's the ingredients for that one. And then the matte top is gonna be the same. Yeah, the matte top cut coat doesn't smell as strong either. So. All right. So I picked out a couple colors to use. I am going to use 25. They don't have names or anything, so we'll just go with that. Now this is, um, when I swatched them, I did them over natural swatch sticks, so they did come out a little bit darker than what they look like on clear. Um, so I will have to do at least two coats, possibly three. We'll see. I may be um, should have mixed in just a drip of a darker blue, but I kind of, I did want it to look very transparent and watery. So we'll see how this goes. Mm 
lamp, so I'm going to go ahead and put these in the lamp. I was also going to use this plate, Manitude Basics and Scales. I was going to use probably one of these for the scales. Um, Miss Jo hand paints hers on. I will not be attempting to hand paint scales. And I was also going to use Maniology M212 for the kind of, I was gonna do this in a milky white for the water look. Maybe add a tentacle, maybe add a mermaid. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna stamp besides the scales. This is turning out to be a decent blue. Like usual, I'm having allergies I live in southwest Florida out in the woods I um, tend to my my personal allergy season seems to be getting longer and longer every year I don't know I just it's just so bad in the lamp. I think I may need to do a third coat. See if I can get a little bit more blue in there coming out and see how that looks. I was also going to use these other two colors. This one is 08 and this one is 30 and this is a sheer pink with a little bit of a shimmer and this one is a blue. It's a little bit well, a lot of bit lighter shade than that one, and it has some glittery, shimmery bits in there. And I was going to use those for the parts of the, the scales when you just, I'm gonna reverse stamp and do just a couple of random scales in those colors. Not quite as blue as I was hoping for, but it'll do. I might have to pick different um, colors for my scales instead of that kind of shimmery pink and shimmery blue. I just, I don't know if it's going to really show up. Seeing how transparent this one is, and they're even lighter, so I have a feeling they won't show up at all. So. Thank you. 
I'm not cooking. Yeah, put those in the way. All right, I'm back. These are out of the lamp. I think that's a nice blue. I think it looks good. So let's try this. Still don't, I don't know if those colors are gonna show, but we'll try. I don't, I kind of don't want a bright white, so I'm going to go with this lighter gray from Maniology. It's called Luna, and it's B327, and it's a very kind of light gray, so let's see how it looks. It, it you know, it may not do well, but it might give me the look I'm going for. I guess I made my decision for me. I was debating on which scales I was going to use. It was a really clean pickup. I forgot to. Oops. Well, then. I forgot to do the reverse stamping, but that still looks really nice. Let's see. But give me just a second to grab a couple colors. I'm trying to. I surprisingly don't have a lot of pinks in my collection. Okay. I'm just gonna try to test this out real quick first. tape to clean off my stamper. The stamper is ripped and torn. Uh, Miss Joe actually did um, a tip with the um, mermaid scales. Um, I'm not confident in my ability to be able to do that so I've never drawn a French tip before, and I don't even know if I would know how to do that. So I'm put a little bit of this Queen. This color is, I don't know if that's 606 or 909. 606. Pink ladies. <laughs> I guess I could have painted still on the um, could have just gel painted in between the lines. But I don't know how well I would do with that. Although I'm not doing very well with this either. All right. 
<clears throat> I'm also going to use this maniology. I think this is why why maya why may why maya i don't remember the pronunciation i know i had to look it up the first time i tried to use it to pronounce it Oh, that's messy. Woof. That does not look good. You can kind of see the colors through the gray, I find. Yeah, I'm not liking this, so I'm not doing it. can't do it. if I I mean I don't have to be perfect but something's really turning me off <coughs> I can't deal with it so let's do something a little different I may mess this up but we'll see I'm just trying to get it back in the bubble. I should have um I should have cured in between because the pink is kind of running where I might have put it a little too thick. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a here before it runs anymore. I think that might have worked in my favor to kind of do it with the gel. Oops, on top. Okay. 
Okay. I wonder if I can make it a little darker. that is gone I'm gonna do this kind of water marble look some of those <clears throat> edges to cover the edge of the thumb. I'm trying to see where they were lined up at. And I'm just adding some random so there's not as much empty space. The blue is really hard to see in the middle where the um, sticky tab is. And the colors are so similar. Really all you see is the kind of shimmer. some extra some extra up here just to add a little bit I'm gonna add some tentacles. I didn't clean my stamper. Now it's going to dry on the plate. I just dip that in a tiny bit of acetone to try to clean up some of these. Areas that kind of messed up. supposed to continue up but I didn't get a clean stamp okay 
this is out you can kind of see the bubbles they're kind of um, orangey looking in the light but they're not really it's kind of a more shimmery paint I am going to try to fix that one tentacle that didn't come off so well. It's like right there. That wasn't a good pickup either. This stamper is kind of funky. That's much better. Now to see if I can match it up and get it on. I'm not mad at it. And I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try to put this kind of blue over it. So that it looks like it's in the water. Yeah, I like that. I haven't done a successful pond many. Every time I try it, they just don't come out the way I want. So, but that looks good. All right, I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna go ahead and top coat this one. this in the lamp. Take the tentacle out. So here's my little tentacle. I like that one. I'm sorry, I don't feel like fighting to get any of the gel, I mean any of that top coat out, so I'm just going to switch to this one. And this is E uh, I don't know the brand name of it. I thought it was like E Couture E something, but it's Shine E. And it is Alright, here's the finish mermaid scales with that kind of blue and pink shimmery. I guess the pink does look a little orangey, but it's still cute. Could have been a little bit more pink. And maybe I should have did 
I could have did more down here. It doesn't look quite balanced, but whatever it'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and top coat this one. my tentacle done. I know, blue gloves, trying to paint blue. Translucent nails, not good for camera work. But. So I have the tentacles, the scales, the water. Scrapers in my hand. I'm just putting some like little seaweed embellishments on this one. And then I'm gonna cover it with this. And I'm going to do the pinky with, again, just some of the kind of water looking. Design. Like that little gap right there. Saving.
Oops, I just touched it and then removed it. Trade it for this one. I didn't put the blue over that one like I did the other one, but it doesn't have to be exact. Mm -hmm. There's my kind of seaweed look. I'm doing the um, the seaweed and the tentacles. I probably should have went with a the Bam Maniology's Bam White since I was decided to go over it with that kind of blue sparkle. Um, geez, Louise! Oh my goodness! It's top heavy. Um, you know, but. That's okay. I think it still has a good effect. It's subtle, but I think it works. I'm, I'm happy. I don't think it's... Um, it's a very loose interpretation of Miss Joe's, uh, which I wasn't going for... A, I wasn't going to try to replicate it anyway, but, um, I did want to do a little bit more like she has it, um, but I just don't, I have the, the, sk <laughs> the skills, I don't know if it's like that I don't have the skills, because I can learn anything, um, but, uh, I just don't think I'm quite sure how to get there. stuff out the way. Look at these beautiful nails. I think they're all top coated now. Honestly, couldn't remember. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.